In this video, we're just going to talk about some basic formulas for angles that are formed with circles. So the first type of angle we're going to talk about is a central angle. The central angle is equivalent to the intercepted arc. So with my picture here, I have circle O with arc AB. The central angle, which would be right here at the center, is equal to the intercepted arc. So angle AOB would equal 80 degrees. The next kind of angle is an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is when your angle is formed with all points on the circle. And an inscribed angle is equal to half the measure of the intercepted arc. So if I have angle ABC and I have the arc that it intercepts is arc AC and that's equal to 100 degrees, then the angle that's intercepting that arc in an inscribed angle is half of the measure of that arc. So angle AOB had a measure of 50 degrees. So write these two down and let's look at a few more. The third type of angle is the tangent chord angle. So it's an angle formed by a tangent and a chord. And the tangent chord angle is equal to half of the intercepted arc. So in my picture, I have angle ABC, which was formed by a tangent and a chord, and then the arc it's intercepting is 120 degrees, and so the measure of my angle is just half of that, which would be 60 degrees. So write down your formula, draw the picture in your notes. Number four is an angle formed inside of a circle by two intersecting chords. So it looks like an X, and it doesn't go through the center, and we have the measure of the angle we're looking for is angle B, E, D. So right here, we will have to figure it out by taking half of the measure of the two intercepted arcs this time. So we add together the two intercepted arcs, and then we take half of that measure to get that angle. And notice B, E, D, and C, E, A are vertical angles, so then we could figure out the rest of the angles here if we needed to. So half of 170 plus 70 was half of 240. And so the measure of the angle that we were looking for, which was BED, is just 120. All right, let's look at a few more. <clears throat> for number five, we're going to look at a couple different types that actually fall very much in the same category once we look at them. You'll see what I'm talking about. The angle formed outside of a circle by the intersection of, if we have two tangents, forming our angle, but our angle itself is actually sitting outside the circle. If we have two secants, so they don't have points touching like a tangent does, the secant goes through the circle and then touched on the other side, but the center, or excuse me, our angle is sitting outside of the circle. And then what if an angle is formed by a tangent and a secant? So that would fall into this picture. And then I just have in each picture a specific example to help you get what's going on. But for two tangents, you take the measure we're looking for is this angle out here. That would be equal to half the measure of the larger arc AC, which was 260, minus the measure of the smaller arc, the minor arc AC. So write that part in your notes. So half of 260 minus 100 is half of 160, which is 80 degrees. So x will be equal to 80 degrees. If your angle is formed by two secants, something very similar happens. You still take the measure of the larger arc, the 80 degree measure, minus the measure of the smaller one that's intercepted. So your angle broke through those little, little like formed where the arc is located, I guess you could say. So it went through the circle forming that arc and forming that arc. So 80 minus 20, and then you took half. So 80 minus 20 was 60, half of that was 30, and then a tangent and a secant. Again, you take half of the larger arc that it's intercepting, minus, or excuse me, not half of that. You take that measure minus the smaller one, then take half. So it's the same thing, if you notice, for all three of these pictures. You're taking the larger arc that's intercepted minus the smaller arc that's intercepted, and then you take half. So 100 minus 30 was 70. I just ran out of room. Let me see. You can't see my 35. There you go. 
So it's 35. Half of 70 was 35 degrees. So like I say, notice on each one of these pictures, even if it's two tangents, two secants, or a tangent and a secant, you're taking the larger arc minus the smaller arc, and then you take half. So larger minus smaller, take half. Larger minus smaller, take half. It's the same for all three. But I just drew a specific example for each one so you could see what they all look like. Now let's look at one more type of angle. We need to include this one in our notes. The tangent radius angle. If you have an angle formed by a tangent and it's connected to a radius. That specific type of angle just equals 90 degrees. So we need to add that one to our notes, and then we'll have a good representation of